Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about broadcasting. Broadcasting is when you can go into Genius Messenger and you can send a message out to a group of labels. Maybe you have, you know, all your partners or you have customers or you have something else that you want to send to. So it'll send it to all of them. Now, you need to keep a couple of things in mind and please, please, please heed this warning and listen to this introductory information before you learn how to do this and go sending things off. There are things you cannot do in Facebook. If you do, you will get your account restricted, limited, or banned. And I'm talking about manually, not even using software. For example, if you have a message to send to people and you go into a text file and write your message and then copy and paste it into contact after contact after contact, you hit paste, send, paste, send, paste, send, and you send 100 messages out in 10 minutes, Facebook will restrict you, if not ban you. They will cut off your messenger work. They just will do it. Even if you put a delay in there and it's the same message and you hit paste, send, wait a minute, paste, send, wait two minutes, paste, send, wait a minute, paste, send, and you do that over and it's the exact same message, eventually they will also restrict you for spamming, okay? So if you can't do it manually, please don't think that the software can do it. What the software does is makes the process easier. It makes it at the click of a button and you can go do other things while it's working for you. But you don't want to have the system do something that you can't initially do anyway. You will get restricted. You will get limited. You could possibly get banned. And you don't want that to happen. So please pay attention to what we're teaching here. Okay, because of that information, we have put two protocols in place for broadcasting. One is we've randomized the text. And I'm going to show you how to do that first with message segments and groups. And then we've put a delay interval between sends, which I'll show you after we create some actual messages. Okay, so first, let's talk about these segments and groups. The first thing I want to talk about is segments. Let's say you have a message you want to send out to your, uh, to your uh, customers. Okay, let's say that the label that you're sending to is customers or the tag that you're sending to is customers. Maybe your message is going to say something like, hi, you were a valued customer. I have some new items coming out and want my customers to get the information first. Are you interested in me sending that to you? Okay, so maybe that's your message and you're just looking for feedback from them. Okay, or you want permission first. I don't know. You're, you're just building some trust here. Okay, now the way we do this is we would break this, send, this paragraph up into what we call segments. Okay, and I actually might break this into uh, more segments than this. I might put, hi, you're a valued customer. I have some new items coming out. I want my customers to get the information first. Are you interested in me sending that to you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a group of segments for this hi. Okay, and there'll be things similar to that. And I'm actually going to use this example and create these and show you. And then the next segment will be these so that the message might say, hi, you are a valued customer. I have some new items coming out. I want my customers to get the information first. Are you interested in me sending that to you? But the next customer might get something that says, hello, you are valued to me as a customer. We have some great new things coming out and want you to get the info first. Are you interested? Exactly the same message, worded differently. Okay, and we're going to put all kinds of little variations so that when Facebook comes back and sees all these messages going out, they don't look all the same. They're different messages, and they're going to be a delay. So let's actually take this and go build this, okay? So let's build, um, actually, I can do that from here. So let's go in here, and we're going to go to where the messages are, okay? And what we have, you'll see on the menu now, we have broadcast, message groups, message segments. So you need to create segments first. I've created some test segments, but I'm going to build these, okay, live in front of you. So let me delete these, all right? And we're going to use this example that I just did, all right? So there we go, okay? So what we want to do first is you're going to create message segments, and we're going to call this first one our introduction, okay? Our intro, we'll just call it. Now remember, this is the one that's just going to say hi, or variations of that. So I'll put hi comma, space, and we can hit this first name, hi, first name, period. I'll add that as a block, okay? Now we want to create another message. Maybe this one says, hello, comma, first name, period. We'll add that. Let's do another one. Maybe this just says, hi, exclamation, exclamation mark, no name, right? 
and maybe another one says, hey now, I don't know, you know, something like that. Ad block. We have four different variations. I'm going to save that segment. Now we have one up here called intro. Okay, so the next thing we want is something similar to you are a valued customer, right? So let's create the next me message segment and we'll call this valued customer, okay? And we'll just make that first one the exact same thing as that, add that block. Create another message. Um, you are a customer and we greatly value that, okay? Add block. Let's do as a customer, you are greatly valued. You see what I'm doing here? I'm saying exactly the same thing in a different way. Let's just put those three in there. Save those message segments. That one's called valued customer. Now let's go in. Now we have a little longer one, right? I have some new items coming out. I want my customers to get the information first. So let's put that there. Let's uh, create a new message segment. We're going to put... Um, uh, new info, customer first. That's what we'll do as the name. Okay? As the message block, we'll just paste that first one in there and we'll add it. All right? I have some new items coming out and want my customers to get the information first. Let's create another message, uh, another message block here. So I'll paste it and put um, maybe there are new items coming out soon. And I want my customers to get the info first. Very similar. There are, okay. We'll add that block. Let's create another message. Let's change it up a little more. Um, let's see, let's put um, uh, new items. We'll just do new items are coming out soon and let's put I am excited to have my customers get information about it first again exactly the same thing a little bit different we'll just leave that one the same save message segments okay now we're going to do one last segment here, and this is going to be this question, right? Are you interested in me sending that to you? So let's do a, a new item closing question is what we'll call this, this uh, message segment, all right? And we'll paste that one in as the first one. Are you interested in me sending that to you? Uh, let's do, would you like me, would you like me to send that to you? Add block. Let's do, may I send that info to you? Let's just do, is it okay to send it out? All right, again, just some variations. Save message segments. So now we have this exact thing, but we have some variations in the different components. Now we can go to message groups and we can, let me delete these test items that we had. Okay, I was doing some just to make sure this all worked. And let's do these live, all right? Create a message group, similar kind of thing. New customer, uh, I'm sorry, new items to customers, all right? What we do here is now we insert things. We can insert a keyword, such as their first or last name, all right? We can insert and then you can delete that if you didn't want it. You can insert static text. Maybe you want all of them to say hi. You're not going to use a variation for that. So you could put that in as the as the beginning piece. All right, we're going to get rid of that. Or you can insert a message segment. So we start with intro because that's our hello, right? Then we do another message segment called valued customer. Then we insert another message segment, uh, new info customer first. And then the last one, which is message segment uh, new item closing question, and we add that block. Now you could do different blocks. You could reorder these if you wanted. Now in the example I'm using, that wouldn't necessarily make any sense. So we're going to save this message group. Okay, so next what we do is we will click broadcast, and now we can send a message. So let's say I want to send these out to all my new customers. Now the label I'm actually going to send this to is... Um, a label I created called message test, which only has two people in it. But we just want to uh, 
uh, test this out. And then we need to set an interval. Two minutes is the fastest you ever want to do this. Uh, if you only have five or ten people, two minutes is great. The more people you have, and I know this sounds counterintuitive, but the more people you have, the slower you want to go. Even if you have to turn this on at night when you go to bed and just leave your computer open. Okay, you don't need to leave this tab open. You can go work elsewhere, but you need to leave Chrome active. So you either need to be working in Chrome on something, on a Facebook page or on some other item on the internet, or you need to just let this run, go eat lunch, go to bed, go, you know, go take a walk, you know, do whatever you want to do and let this run in the background while you're doing other things. You just need to keep Chrome active. Um, so you want to do this over time. Don't rush this. You do not want your account limited. You do not want it restricted. All right. I'm going to do two minutes for the example. All right. And then this message group, you'll have a drop down list. I only have one in here, right? New items to customers. It's the only group I've created, but if I have multiple groups, I can pick which one I want and I can hit send broadcast. Now you'll notice in the upper left hand corner, a little tab up here opens up and I'm sending one to my developer and we're going to see that disappear in a moment. It's doing the countdown. Okay. Remember it's waiting two minutes and we have a built in delay. There'll be a delay of 20 to 30 seconds either way. So it might go out in a minute and a half. It might go out in two and a half minutes, but that delay is going to change a little bit between every send. We don't want it systematic every two minutes exactly a message goes. It might be a minute and a half and then two minutes and 10 seconds goes by and another one goes out and then a minute and 45 seconds and, and another message goes out. So right now we're sending this first message up here uh, in the mobile version of Facebook. It opens that tab. We're still over here. We can, you know, we can go do other things. Um, I, I'm leaving Chrome open, but we can go do other things over here. I could go back on Facebook and go do, you know, things over there. That's fine. And we're letting this send. And I'm just going to let that send and we're going to we're going to wait a second. It's just doing the countdown timer right now for the delay. OK, and, and you can create as many message segments as you want. Uh, some of them you'll be able to use. Uh, let's go back to here. Some of these like an intro. OK, even if you create other messages for other things, you may always want to start with high. So you can always use that message segment in other groups that you create. OK, maybe you have a new info to a prospect list. OK, so uh, you'll just your new item closing can stay the same and your intro can stay the same for that group. But you may want to do a, a valued contact or um, prospective customer, you know, something like that. So you can um, word those that way. OK, that tab went away. So that went out to Rahul. Now it's going to wait a little bit. It's going to do another timer and there's another person in that. Uh, segment so it's going to uh, send that shortly and we should see that open up um, after the countdown timer has done its thing and uh, that's basically uh, where we are with things I can open this and we can yeah it's saying uh, Margaret Mullen is the next one that's in that particular group so I'm actually going to let this uh, training run a little longer you can sign off you know how to do everything now but I just want to watch uh, Margaret Mullen gets sent and we'll be able to see that while we're here and that's how they work so have some fun with this if you see something that you want to do oh let me just go back and show you when you're doing the broadcasts remember you can also send by tags okay if you have different tags uh, created you can send to all of the people in a tag okay there goes Margaret Mullen see now it's sending her it waited the delay and it sent that out so that's how the system works um, if you have any questions, let us know. Enjoy. This has been a very requested feature, so hopefully this is something that will help you. Um, just be careful with it. Go slow. Take your time. Don't get your account restricted, but hopefully this will free up a lot of time for you and allow you to accomplish a lot more things with this software. Thank you.